Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another tutorial. This tutorial is using the Artist Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I wanted to do more of like a colorful look and I wanted to do like this yellow one, but I just don't, I don't know, like I need to practice it. And so I just kind of picked this up and instead of doing like extremely colorful, colorful, <laughs> And instead of just doing something extremely colorful, I kind of just did like a pop of color. I used the Orange You Fancy as my pop of color. I have used this palette before, I believe, on my channel. I think it was one of the first tutorials that I did. I did not show my foundation contour highlight routine in this video because I just did a video on that. And I will make sure to link it down below. And if you want to see how to get this, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. But I guess just a different purpley deep type of look with a pop of orange for color, then please just keep watching. Okay babes, first I'm going to start off with priming my eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It is the original one. And I'm going to take the shade Buttery and my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and set that primer just like I do with every other primer I've always put on my lid. I'm going to take my Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush and Dusty Rose and just put this color right basically sloppily into my crease. And I'm also going to kind of just drag it down to meet my lash line here. Next, I'm going to go in with this Crown Royale Medium Eye Shader Brush in the color Orange You Fancy. I'm going to put that literally all over my lid. Now I'm just going to keep packing and packing that color on until I get the pigment that I like. Then I'm going to just take a clean blending brush and kind of buff this out a little bit. I'm going to dip now into Aubergine with my Real Technique brush. I'm just going to call this a little eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to focus this color in the outer corner, like outer V of my eye. I know this looks crazy now, but it's going to come all together. But I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow brush and just buff it out. I'm going to pack more Aubergine on. Do some more buff in here. I'm going to pick up a little more dusty rose on the same brush that I've been blending with here. I'm just taking buttery and kind of blending out the harsh line that is kind of formed above my crease here. I'm going to take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and just wet this brush here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's not labeled, but... I'm going to pick up Orange You Fancy again and just kind of pack on that color again because we lost it. And then it, I'm also going to blend out the line between Orange You Fancy and Aubergine. And wetting the brush is basically just going to bring out Orange You Fancy even more and just really make it pop. I'm going to take that original Luxie blending brush and I'm just going to blend a little more because you can never blend too much. I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner and we're just going to make a really fierce wing because that is really going to clean up the kind of the harshness that's going on right here. Going go in with my NYC liquid liner just to darken it up a little bit. Now we're going to do the lower lash line and I'm going to use my Morphe B16 brush and just dusty rose all along my lash line and then I will go in the outer part of my lash line with aubergine. I'm going to put my tri tried and true Max Nylon in my inner corner. And that is also going to be my brow bone highlight. Then I'm going to coat my lashes with the Their Real Mascara by Benefit.
and I'm going to use my MAC Giga Black Lash for my bottom mascara. twist for once in my life I'm remembering to show you the lashes I'm going to use the Ardell Wispies then for my lip color I'm going to use Liar by Urban Decay I'm sticking to more of like a gloss type of thing today because my lips have been extremely dry and they're just oh like I literally pack and pack and pack um chapstick on and then oh it's just not getting any better so I've been sticking to a lot of glosses lately Okay, babes, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I really like how this came out. Like, I literally just sat down, looked at the palette, and I was like, let me try something different. And I really like it. This is my first time using these wispy lashes. Like, I use a ton of Ardell ones, but I've never used the actual, like, Ardell wispy. Which, they kind of confuse me, but I don't know. It's, it's my first time using it, and I am obsessed. Like, these lashes are really nice. I can't say can't say anything bad. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure to follow me on all my social medias, which is Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll make sure to leave a link down below to all of them. And I will also leave a full list of all the products that I used in my description bar. If you like more videos, like where I do kind of like a pop of color or something different, like let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and just let me know because I know I tend to stick to a lot of the same like neutral type looks and I just I want to get out of my comfort zone and I think this is kind of like a good start. I want to thank you again so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and please join the Pieces of Burr family if you haven't and subscribe to my channel. I will see you babes next time. Bye!